This is MMA.ca here with Mike Kent in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Mike, congratulations on your win over Chester Post tonight. Th thanks a lot. I appreciate it. So I'm just going to, I don't even have to ask questions. I can just ask you to repeat what you said after the fight was over in, in the cage to the crowd. What did you say about that first round? Just, I honestly have no idea what happened. Uh, I don't know if it's the four months off, maybe tentative because of the head injury before, um, seeing my uh, uh, guys go through some adversity with Nathan and then uh, ha against Todd and then coming, it was such an, um, back in the backstage, there's, there's pluses to be in the main event and there's uh, con uh, pros and cons because Gavin was such an emotional roller coaster. Ricky was such, and then you're, you're kind of deflated by the time you get out there and I, c I honestly just couldn't get my feet out from underneath me. I was tripping over my own feet, throwing disgusting combinations and thank God for uh, a, a great corner. Uh, Peter Martel, black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Rob Walker, uh, world champion kickbox, Muay Thai kickboxer. I mean, uh, they just they put the fear of God in me and said, Do you, is this the way you want to go out? I was lucky to get out of the choke. Uh, Chester's a, vet, a veteran. You can say what you want about his record. Uh, you can say what you want. He's fought the, the best guys around, and no one makes him look stupid. I mean, he goes out there and he, he fights, and he did a good job. He almost had me in a choke, and uh, uh, thank God that I got out of it. And I, in the second round, I came out, and I, I knew it wasn't going to go further than the second round. Uh, I was going for blood for sure so yeah. yeah like you said Chester's a real veteran he's been around the sport not for a very long time but he's got a lot of fights yeah. fought a lot of the top guys in Canada um, he had you in real trouble in that in that round he was it looked like he was about to get you in a rain could choke uh, to me from where I was standing it seemed like you were almost yeah, getting caught by it until Peter was shouting out to take to take his hand and defend against the hand Yeah, I knew what I had to do but I, I also knew the, ra the round was wasting, and I, I didn't, I'm not one to just wait for the end of the round, okay? I wanted to kind of get, so a few times I kind of like let go of a grip and tried to turn, or, and every time I did that, he'd really almost get the choke. Um, so I just, at the end, I just held on to the choke, and just because every time I tried to do anything at all offensive to get out of it, uh, I almost got finished. And I mean, this is a, I've never been in any kind of a trouble uh, in any fight up until now and I mean I, I survived that first round and and it wasn't so much what Chester did I mean besides the choke he, he had you in a body triangle too yeah but what I didn't do I uh, I just didn't uh, strike well I backed up normally I touch gloves and I go forward and if I get hit I go forward if I get taken down I get up go forward uh, and this fight I was backing up tripping I uh, just I'm really happy to get away with the W regroup and uh, hopefully never have another performance like that again so yeah so obviously you're corner must have said something to you to inspire you after the uh, after the first round because you came out guns a blazing the second round and it was over very quickly yeah they just said is this the you that you want to be remembered by you're in your hometown your uh, your family your friends are here your teammates here uh, you know what you're capable of you're a better fighter um, than what you showed and you should be able to uh, compete at a much higher level than you are maybe uh, with a few more bleeps than than that but they just said this isn't you uh, get out there and get after it and and I mean I was disappointed with myself after that first round but I mean, I guess unless you have a round like that, you don't know if you can come back from one. So I'm happy. And I'm just happy Gavin had a landmark night against a tough opponent. Uh, Ricky fought a tough guy from a great camp. Uh, Nathan had the round of his life up until that last second. I mean, we, Titans had a successful successful night no matter what way you look at it. Whitey had a knockout that good uh, go on any highlight reel. So uh, this is a big success for Titans, um, a great success for me. Uh, I tried some different uh, weight cutting tactics yesterday, and I, I just I don't want to make excuses. I had a really shitty first round. Sometimes your feet don't. Sure. Sometimes you tell your body to do stuff and it doesn't do it, and uh, and I'm fortunate that I'm not uh, seven and one. So I'm very happy with it. Well, you know what they say that a, a win is a win is a win. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I mean, this is going to give some uh, a, a future opponents uh, fuel to the fire and and maybe make me look like an easy uh, target. I understand that you want to come out and have that second round, the first round, and then people are shaking their head going. I don't want to fight that guy, and maybe that first round is going to give me some of the fights I want because, uh, I mean, uh, any other night I could very well be the loser. So. Yeah. Yeah. Now your guys are icing down your hand. You think you broke it, hey? Yeah, it doesn't look the greatest right now. There's uh, a couple of deformities there. I've had f four or five surgeries on it already. So, but yeah, I mean that's part of the game. So we'll I'll probably uh, have a few drinks tonight, uh, some medicated, and then tomorrow I'll probably have a doctor look at it. Well, Mike, uh, let's hope that the rest of your fights and the rest of your career end up like that second round. Congratulations on your win. A lot of MMA. Uh, your new website is doing amazing things. You guys always cover us and put us in a great light. So thank you. Very very much, and uh, I will do whatever we can to help you out whenever. Thanks, Mike.